Hey, beautiful friend, today's hug, we're gonna talk about the wheel of life. Okay, so you've heard the squeaky wheel gets the grease, right? Well, today we're gonna evaluate to find out what your biggest squeaky wheel is. So below the video, you're going to find a document that you can download and print up, and then you can do that with this exercise, okay? So pause the video, go back, print it up, and then come back here and follow along. So in this graphic, you're gonna see the Wheel of Life, which has all these different areas of your life, and you get to rate them where you are. So a 10 means you're rocking it, a one means it stinks. And so starting with your career, maybe you're retired, so then that's an easy one. You're like, ooh, I'm rocking this retired life, but how satisfied are you in your career? A one, it totally stinks, a 10, you're totally excited, and most of us are somewhere in between, except me, of course. <laughs> um, home life, go ahead and rate your home life. Where are you on a scale of one to 10? Then relationships, that could be family, friends, community, how would you relate this quality of your relationships? Then finances. How about fitness? You know, we've been working on that the last couple weeks. So where are you right now in your fitness? And even though I love fitness, I'm still not a 10. Okay, there's always room for improvement for everyone. Okay, so how about sleep? Sleep, I'm close to a 10. I'm a good sleeper. I would actually say I'm pretty much a 10 at sleep. I always score in the high 90s or the mid 90s in my sleep score. Passionate purpose, that's a good one. Why are you here? What do you live with passion? My job is a passion thing for me. Helping people be healthier, hearing your member testimonials. I am definitely in my passionate purpose for sure. And I'll tell you one indication. So when you wake up in the morning, you excited to get out of bed to see what's on your horizon for the day, or are you like pressing the snooze button and you're just dreading going to work? <laughs> are you living in passion? And your career may not be your passion, but maybe you're doing something outside of your job that is your passion, and that counts too. That's really important. How about your general health? Just overall sense of well-being. How do you rate in that? And lastly, we have food. Are you making good choices most of the time when it comes to your meals and your snacks? So rate yourself for that. And then what you're gonna do after you've rated yourself for all, you're gonna connect the dots and draw your wheel and see how does it look. So now you get to decide which area of your life are you gonna work on first? Are you gonna work on the one that is the lowest scoring so you can try to bring this wheel fuller? That's what I would recommend. But you get to choose the way you wanna do it. So perhaps your passionate purpose is your lowest. Perhaps you're in a job that, you know, is that whole hamster wheel every day. So maybe you want to find that. What is your passionate purpose? What can you do? In the next video, I'll go ahead and cover passionate purpose for you, and we'll go on a deep dive in more of these areas of your life, just in case that that's the area that you want to work on first. But for today, you're just going to do the rating for yourself, and we'll work on the tips coming up. Okay? All right, last but not least, ooh, squeeze, give yourself a big fat hug. I love that so much. And you know what? There's another hormone called oxytocin and physical touch, big hugs, helps increase oxytocin, which is a pleasure hormone. So hug yourself more than once a day. Mwah. Bye for now.